Here we go for part two, or maybe three, depending on how I number things on YouTube, of my BYD uh, Atto 3 battery strip. Uh, I've just been having a look at the cells and the cell voltages and the cell taps and stuff like that. Now, one thing I noticed is it's got this row of cells, uh, the bus bars across here, and then we've got the cell taps uh, linking up across here to go to the far side of the, of, of the battery. Now, there's one on each cell, but only every second one's being used because the far end, obviously, they can pick up the cell tap from there. But what I noticed is that if we check that there, there is actually a voltage on that terminal there. The far end, nothing's actually connected to it, so I assume it's some sort of capacitive coupling there. And I thought I'd just demonstrate that to see if it's actually got a hard connection inside the cell there somehow for some reason, or whether it's just, you know, some capacitive link. So give me a sec while I settle this up. Now, at first I thought, oh no, the, uh, the cell's only got two point something odd volts in it, and there's a, there's a problem with it, and which there really shouldn't have been, because this car was actually drivable when I pulled it out of the, before I pulled the pack out. There's 2.6 volts there. Now, if I actually check the cell itself from over here, you see we've actually got the 3.3 odd volts that I expect there to be uh, in that cell. But if I put on a bit of load onto here, and get this thing to actually clip on again. bit of load onto it it just drops away to nothing and like you can see on that little test light there there's, just, there's no glow no anything there's no actual real current flow there it's just a capacitive coupling uh, from the cell into that terminal now the next thing I was going to talk about while uh, we're, uh, we're out here is these little cooling plates a couple people have asked me about the uh, the cooling cells, uh, the, the cooling plates across the top of the battery there. I'll see if I can get you in nice and close here. So this is where I've pried it up a little bit. If you have a look, this these blue bits here is like a plastic wrap on the actual cells themselves. Uh, that's not actually focused in there. Now the cooling plate sits on top of the um, thing. That's just like aluminium channels there. You can sort of see, oh, you probably can't see it because it's all ground over. Um, right, so each, each line along here and then back again here and then rinse and repeat across the whole top of the battery pack is just uh, aluminium cooling channels. Uh, this blue here is the actual cells themselves wrapped in the blue cellophane-y, plastic -y stuff that they wrapped in. This grey goop here is rock hard. Um, well, maybe not rock hard, but it's certainly quite hard and it's like a glue sort of stuff and so get that right in under there, there you can see where it's glued between the channel and there's some sort of a thermal epoxy um, stuff there and then if we come down in here you can see down the bottom of the cell here or the bottom of the cells into the bottom of the pack there's like a rubbery uh, resin goop stuff pouring in so the cells themselves the cells themselves are glued into the bottom of the pack, or at least they're placed in the bottom of the pack, and then there's this stuff is like poured in afterwards. It's got this little plastic plate here, which I assume is just to protect this aluminium from the cells there, so there's no accidental shorting in, in manufacture or whatever. Um, the actual cooling plates on top are just riveted in. So you can see I've just drilled out one rivet from there, where that's all. Well, that's all uh, been bent up and out, and I've drilled a rivet there, and rivet there, and rivet there, and there's a couple more. Where are we? Across the center there, and there's a bunch at the end there. Background to this side of the battery. Uh, so I'm cutting this battery up into uh, 14S lots and going to be paralleling them up. I was originally planning on pulling the cells out and restacking them into the configuration that I wanted, but because they're all glued in, that's just not going to be not going to happen. So. I've got to try and cut these bus bars and rewire it to, to work how I want. Now, if I zoom in here, this is basically what I'm going to be doing uh, on it. So I've cut, uh, 
I've cut this bus bar through here and then I'll, I'll attach them to here. So this will be my, my 14S positive back here. So we, so we got you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cell, 14th cell positive here. And then this will become my earth. So this will be connected back over to this one and so on and so forth up the whole length of the pack there. So I've already cut this one here and I've started to cut the second one here. Uh, here I've started um, drilling through it. Um, quite difficult to do uh, without actually damaging the cells themselves. I probably won't bother trying to record it because having a camera in my face at the same time is just too hard. Uh, now also I notice that the BMS wires running across the top here uh, with all these nickel strips, there's actually a nickel strip coming off every single cell whereas at the far end you would have seen that there's actually only every second one is connected so I don't know why they went to all the effort of spot welding onto the second one so theoretically one of these would be connected to you know this one be connected to here this one be connected to here so there and then this one's connected to the cell at the far end but why they bothered nickel uh, uh, spot welding a nickel strip onto every single one. I don't know. I would have thought it'd save them money to just only do half of them like they did on the other side. They're not connected to anything, so there's not much point. All right, I thought I'd give it a go at trying to record cut one of these bus bars. Hopefully, you don't get in my way too much. Hopefully, there's no loud explosions. All right, here we go, and here's another bus bar cut. So I'll just need a rinse and repeat. All right, and on to the next one. Um, this is gonna be much easier once I finally get them all cut down and the voltage is lower and I can ditch these gloves. really worried about having an electric shock or anything like that. Working on the battery wearing gloves and a helmet is unpleasant. But if I don't do it with all the correct PPE on, I'll get yelled at. We'll cut that bit out. And another one done. So that's one, two, three, and a few more to go.
Well, needs to be tidied up a little bit more for file, but I'm definitely getting faster. On to the next one. Then there was one. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Cut that one. Now we're all done. I've now split the pack into nine lots of 14S uh, and now I've just got to start putting bus buyers and BMS sense wires everywhere to turn it into a battery pack for my home storage. Thanks for watching.